Hello everyone, we have a integration by u substitution here again. We have this function 1 over x times ln of x and then the holding times the dx. And so we are going to get started by letting u be the ln function. Um, the reason for why we're doing that is really because if you just rewrite this function a little bit, it actually looks like this. So we have the 1 over Okay, so 1 over and then that x and then times the ln of x and then times dx. And actually you can just rewrite it one more time and write it as a product, which will look now look like 1 over. Well, actually I want it to be a product, right? So it will be easier if I write it like this, 1 over x times 1 over ln of x, and then the dx. Okay, so I'm going to let u be this thing here. I'm going to let u be this thing. Yeah, so let's try it and see what's going on. So here, we are going to just put down u substitution here, and we have u is equal to ln of x. Yeah, so when we find the du, we'll actually get something that's nice because that will help us cancel this 1 over x right here, and then we can integrate this 1 over u directly. Okay, so what is the du? The du is the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x times the dx. Now, if you go back to the original integral, then you can see that we do have the 1 over x right here. That's the 1 over x. And then we also do have the dx, and we also have the dx here. And all that is going to be replaced by the du, right? Okay, so now we can go back to the original integral and then do the calculation here. We are going to get the integral. And then we have 1 over this u. So we'll just put it here as our new integrand, so 1 over, and then the u. And then what is next? The next is to replace the 1 over x and the dx by using du. So I'm going to replace that and then put it here. So now it just becomes a simple integral, which is finding the antiderivative of 1 over u, and that would be easy. And that's actually just the natural log of the absolute value of this u. Okay, and then <clears throat> we're basically done, but at this point I should uh, substitute the u back into here, right? The ln of x back into this u so that I will have a function that's in terms of x. And then of course there was uh, also a plus c right here. And so let's do that. We have the ln of, the u is actually becoming the ln of x, right? So we have the ln of x inside the absolute value and then plus c. So this problem is finished. So as you can see here, sometimes when we try to cancel things out, we first need to just rewrite the function so that it looks um, more obvious what we have and what we can let u to be. And once we do that, then we can actually um, find the du and then get the du to replace some of the stuff that's all, uh, in our original integral. And after that, then we will get a new integral that's in terms of the new variable, and then we can integrate that directly. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you next time.